So, have you ever heard anyone say things like, that's how I am, that's who I am, that's me, you have to learn to accept me for who I am. And I'm like, really? <laughs> hello, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Uluwani Femi Buluwati Femi Abiola, and I'm super excited to be here, I'm super excited to be sharing this with you i'm super excited to be going on this journey with you and so if you are new to my channel eh, 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 you're welcome thank you so much for watching this video and please feel free to join this family if you feel free to watch this video to the end if you like what we're talking about and you like the journey that god is taking us to feel free to join the journey to join this journey by subscribing to the channel so that you get notified when next I upload a new video. And of course, if you're a returning subscriber, ah, oh, you guys, I have to thank you. Like, it's been how many days I started? Just really a few weeks, like a week or so. And thank you so much, guys. Mwah! You have my love. I'm super, super duper grateful to you. I was checking my WhatsApp status and I was just seeing a lot of people post the link and I was like, oh my god, my head is swelling. Thank you so much, guys. Alright, so let's go right into what we have to talk about today. So, I, I figured that, of course, in as youths, right? Because this video is majorly for the youth. Now, as youth, for us to excel is the fact that we're constantly growing, we're constantly changing, we're constantly getting better. Now, I have noticed, right, that for many of us, I, you know, I try to use also that we don't feel left out, you know. For many of us, we know that we have certain things. Now, I'm, I'm very particular about character now, character issues, flaws, and all of that. Now, for many persons, you know that you have a particular character flaw. You know that you have, okay, this thing is not right, and I need to deal with it. But you see, rather than face the fact that you need to deal with it, you hear many people say things like, that's who I am, that's what I Do you know the one that busts my mind the most? You hear people say things like, I'm an angry person, that's who I am. You have to, now, let, let me tell you, let me share something like my own story with you. Now, I, I'm not exactly a very angry person. I don't think I'm, say I'm, a, I'm a very angry person. But you see, when I get angry, I tend to raise my voice a lot. Like, I raise my voice a lot. And you know, of course, because I don't get angry so often, people really, really know. But then people that are very close to me, especially when someone, if it's someone that, if it's not someone that I really like, I'll just, you know, look away. But if it's somebody I like, you know, in the process of trying to like, tell you how I feel, hear me say things like, no, you can't, no, and I'm screaming and I'm raising my voice. And then, you know, I had, you know, I had friends, and so apparently one of my closest friends, my best friend, you know, one day I was really talking to him, not one day actually, something I've been doing. So I was really talking to him, so he offended me, and then I was trying to make him feel, see how I felt and everything. And so, we're on the road, and then I was raising my voice and saying, Ah, and I was really, you know, stressing my nose, and it was just like, don't, don't raise your voice at me, don't, don't raise your voice. And I was like, that's how I talk, that's how I talk. I'm not trying to raise my voice. That's just how I talk and everything. But then, I, it, it made me understand that look, you cannot be a human, right? I know that certain things are bad. Now the truth is, God created us differently, and in our diversity is our uniqueness. It's our beauty. Actually, it's beautiful to be different. It's totally beautiful to be unique. It's beautiful to be you. But you see, when you begin to find out that there are certain things you need to work on, don't now use that your uniqueness in quotes. That's unique, unique you. And use it as an excuse to not work on. You have to be intentional about working on yourself. That's what makes you a better human. And that's why you see that despite the fact that we have um, what, what, what's this? There's something I can't, can't remember. They say choleric, sanguine, temperaments, right? Now, if you see two people that have very similar temperaments, maybe sanguine. Now, there's a saying, right? Even though I'm not exactly into all those things, but to a large extent, I study on it. And then there's a te tendency that sanguines are generally, usually not serious about anything. Like, they're usually very playful about everything, carefree. They just don't think life is that difficult. But then you see two sanguines and you see that one is doing so much better than the other. It's not because they are not both sanguines, but I mean, I mean, when I say sanguine, I mean the dominant feature, on the right? The dominant trait. But it's because one has been intentional about working on himself or herself. 
I don't know if you get my point. So you cannot have a particular character for say you know and you know that this thing is wrong and you're doing it and you just choose to say that's who I am. That's who you are. Yeah, how? Please, let's do better. Let's change. And then, you know, one of the tips I recommend, something that I do is that I do not lie to myself. See, as you see me, I don't lie to myself. I'm very honest with myself. I tell myself the truth to myself. So when I notice that, okay, I'm starting to become this, I'm noticing this particular thing, I'm quick to tell myself, especially I have petty talk to myself in my room. I just sit down in my room, I talk to the Holy Ghost. I talk to myself, I just say, Holy Ghost, I did this particular thing to do. What do you think? And then I'm talking to myself and then I'm telling myself the truth. I will not lie to myself that, okay, they, no. So first thing, be upfront with yourself. Say, okay, I'm admitting this. I admit that I am this, I'm egoistic. I admit that I'm proud. I admit that I'm manipulative. I admit that I have anger issues. It's okay to admit these things to yourself. If you're a Christian, it does not mean that you're walking outside faith. It just means that you're knowing that you have this thing and you know that you know you can work on it and get better because living in denial is not living a faith-based life no it's, it's, not, it's not so yes i think this video is getting too long so we can do better so you notice something be honest with yourself be open with yourself have open conversation with your friends do you think i'm like this do you think i'm doing this i think i'll do a part two of this video i think i would so i don't tell that this video does not extend for too long so do you think that this or this is happening? And if they say yes, or if you know within yourself that this is happening, then be intentional about working on it. Because that's what makes you a better human. Not just for your relationships, I mean romantic relationships, even for your workplace. Because people that are around you will notice, people will know. In your workplace, your boss, if you're a CEO, your employees, whoever it is, they will know. So be intentional. Let's be intentional about working on, our, working on ourselves this week. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And please share. If you really enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Let me know that you did. Let me know what stood out for you the most. Let me know what you learned. Let me know if you can, you are feeling me. If you understand what I'm saying, let me know if I'm reaching you. Because that's really the point of all of this. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And click on the notification bell so that you get notified. All of those things that we need to ask. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much everyone.